So in this video, I'm going to demonstrate uh, another circuit that I that I did. This one, I had the motor hooked to the emitter side of the uh, the transistor, and while it worked as a speed controller, I never got the maximum amount of current because I was hooked to the emitter side. I should have been hooked on the collector side. So I have this circuit over here. Uh, I'm going to put a, a resistor between this pin and the base so that I can protect the my basic stamp from trying to send too much current to the base here. I'm, I'm not sure it's needed, but since I need just a small amount of turn-on voltage there, uh, I, I should be able to put a pretty big resistor there that should prevent this from trying to send too large of a current. So you'll notice I have the motor on the collector side of the transistor. The emitter side goes straight to ground. And I have, uh, I still have the uh, photo transistor in there, but I don't have it hooked up. I don't, I'm not programming it in this particular video. And here we just have uh, a note about the change from wiring the motor to the emitter side versus the collector side. Uh, it allows the motor to use the collector current, which is amplified. So here's my circuit. And... The program I have written here is just going to run the speed of the motor up and then run it back down in a loop and you'll be able to see the voltage change on the voltmeter there. It's, it maxes out right around nine and a half volts. Well, I take that back. Maxes out around ten volts.